Hi, I'm Ruth. And I'm Sean. And today we're baking a car. <laughs> Kids invent stuff. Now we're not actually building a car, we're building a gravity racer. Because 10 year old Grace sent us her design for a giant cake in the form of a gravity racer that we're going to race downhill. Sean, you are disgusting, but everything you just said was correct. Okay. To build 10 year old Grace's giant cake racer, we're going to need to build a wheeled platform with steering. And instead of just making it look like a cake, we've decided to do loads and loads of baking. So to bake a giant downhill racing cake, here are some of the ingredients we need. We've got some wood that we're going to use to build a frame for our gravity racer. We've got some wheels that are going to go on the back, so allow it to propel down a hill. We've got some front wheels that we're going to use for steering. And then we've got a whole load of cake ingredients. We've got nine of these giant sacks of flour. We've got some giant bags of granulated sugar. We've got some icing sugar. We've got some cocoa, because Grace wanted her cake to be filled with chocolate. We've got some sprinkles that we're going to put on top of the cake. And some jelly beans that we're going to use to decorate it with. So to create the steering for Grace's gravity car, we've taken these old wheels which were actually off the scissor lift for the crazy car. Now we're not using this bit of them, we've just stolen these really cool uh, mounts that turn. And we've got these wheels which came off uh, the dodgeball launcher, so these were left over from that. And when we put these on here and we connect these together, it'll allow us to steer our car by moving the handlebars. So we're just assembling our steering and we're using this pair of old handlebars from a bike that we had and some brakes and these brakes will be uh, mounted on our back wheels and then this steering column here will allow us to turn our two front wheels at the same time so we can steer our gravity racer. <laughs> So we don't have an oven big enough to bake a really big cake, so we've decided to bake lots of little cakes, like this one. Uh, this is actually a vegan recipe that we found, and the great thing about it is it takes 12 minutes in the microwave. Let's make cake. So to bake our stupid amount of cake, we're going to start with a bucket. We're then going to take two and a half cups of flour, stick those in the bucket, Right, we then need a third of a cup of sugar. It's not going to be a very sweet cake. Chuck that in the bucket too. Then we're going to take another third of a cup of oil. Whack that in the bucket as well. And then to make the cake rise, we're going to use some bicarbonate of soda. And then we're going to use some vinegar. So chuck our vinegar in there as well. That's gone all frothy. And then we need to put in one cup of water. So we chuck our water in there as well. I am loving that outfit. Thank you. This is what people wear when they do baking. And this is what engineers use when they're mixing cake. Check this out. This is how you properly mix loads of cake. I love cake! Beautifully handcrafted cakes. And 12 minutes later, we will miraculously have the cake. And we have a cake. So in Grace's drawing, she had a sprinkle cannon that fired sprinkles out of the back onto all the other racers. Now, we loved the idea, but unfortunately, we weren't allowed. So we have got lots of sprinkles, and we have got something that might fire them. So this is our custard firing cannon from our custard girl, our first ever build. And we thought, we could probably use this as a sprinkle celebration at the end of the race, but only if it works. So I filled it with dough. Let's test it on Sean. Sean? <laughs> I think that worked.
no idea how we're gonna combine the wood and the cake, but we're gonna give it a go. So on her drawing, Grace said that her cake should have a chocolate filling, so we've made this gloopy, sticky chocolatiness that we're gonna stick inside the cake. Ruth, what are you doing? I'm currently hammering in spikes into cake. Into a cake wall? <laughs> into a cake wall. <laughs> it's probably the weirdest thing I've ever made, if I'm honest. So to bring to life Grace's giant gravity razor cake, we baked 110 separate cakes in the microwave. And Sean has had way too much cake. I've eaten a lot of cake, but all that's left to do now is to put the finishing touches to the gravity racer before we take it to race it down a hill very fast. Thank you so much Grace for your amazing invention idea. We have had so much fun building it. And thank you to the ERA Foundation and the EEF, the Manufacturers Organization, for sponsoring this build. Cheers guys. And if you're watching at home, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to our channel, and to join us next time to see what happens when we take Grace's very heavy cake-filled racer and roll it down a hill at speed very, very fast, possibly crashing it. So join us to see what happens next time. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Kids. Invent stuff. Serious, serious engineer. Sprinkles!